Almost everything about Paul Gauguin's view of Tahiti was wrong, even offensive by today's standards. He went there in the 1890s to look for and to live the ideal of the noble savage, of man stripped of his civilized pretensions and living in Edenic simplicity. Once he got there, he shacked up with a series of underage girls, hardly bothered to discover anything about the real traditions of Tahitian art, and instead painted his Tahitian models in his own idealized version of paradise. The work he produced is, nevertheless, justly celebrated on its own terms for its vibrant colors and the feverish consistency of its vision. My favorite of the work he produced there is his fragmentary travel journal, Noah Noah, and in particular, the woodcuts he made to accompany the text. Here, Gauguin took a medium that was new to him and that in fact, no one was really using much anymore. Perhaps instinctively, he saw that the rough mark making it required, the cutting and the hewing of a hard material, made the woodcut an ideal expression of his desire to renew his art through contact with his mythical notion of the primitive. Astonishingly, in these brooding and yet delicate prints, he succeeded, going beyond the colonial tourist's view of Tahiti to arrive at images of real power. <laughs> 